Okay, now let's see what it can do. Uh, I set a little sequence up here. Um, so when I press the uh, play button on Cubase, uh, it'll go into a run. As it is in sync with the uh, Cubase host clock. Um, the uh, only channel active right now is the uh, A channel, because I switched only the A channel on. So what you hear is the sequence running up here. Uh, and as you can see, I can just change the pitch of each step. It's running 16 steps right now. I'll change it to uh, 8. There you go. Um, it has a step rate of uh, 2, which means running 8 notes. Uh, I can set it to... Uh, 16. There you go. Switching on the uh, B channel here. We got two sequences running in sync. Only this one is running 8 steps and this one is running 16 steps. And pressing the keys on my keyboard will change the pitch of the entire sequence, of course. I can set a different uh, step rate for the uh, B channel, like this. Or maybe uh, like this. There you go. Now switching on uh, the arpeggiator function on the first channel will make the first channel stop running. And as soon as I press a key on my keyboard, it will start running again. So it's like a real arpeggiator. I can do this for both channels, of course. There you go. So I'm pressing the keys on my keyboard right now, and when I release it, the sequence stops running. Set them back to a normal mode again. Now switching on the random function on uh, either of the channels will make them run in random mode. As you can see, it's just uh, taking random pitches, random steps. And I can combine this, of course, with the arpeggiator mode. So you can make lots of different combinations. So now I got an arpeggiator running in the uh, second channel in random mode. And a continuous sequence in the first channel. Or I can make them random for both. Changing the velocity on the uh, channels with the faders over here. set these sliders all the way down, it'll just mute the notes. So, and when uh, tweaking the controls in the synthesizer, you can have uh, a lot of fun. Adding a little delay can make it more interesting. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have fun with uh, the plugin. Uh, you can download it for free, as I said, at my website www.misha.nl slash VST which includes all the other synthesizers I created with uh, SynthEdit and you can use them for free. So, enjoy!